Hi guys, this is a video on how to change the look of any web page you visit on the internet inside Firefox, no code required. Now this is done with the Firefox extension Customize Your Web. I'm going to show you a few examples of what I've done with the add-on. I'm also going to show in the description a video that explains it more in detail and this guy's done some pretty cool stuff with this extension. And I'm also going to ask you guys for some video responses on how you've used this extension and what you've done to customize it and how you did it so I can do this for myself. So. Customize your web. Now I own a website here or a forum called Mob3. You guys probably know of it. And you can see straight away we have five different things on the navigation bar. However, because I'm an admin, if I go forwards, I actually have much more links. I've even got it going onto two rows. Now I don't want it to go onto two rows, I just want the one. Now I don't really visit this help little button here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it. I'm going to press F10 to activate the customize your web script area. Now again I said no code required so all I need to do is click whatever I want to modify. So in this case I'm going to click the help file. Just click it. Now I can do several things here. I'm just going to click remove and I'm going to click OK and that's it. It's removed that and I now have everything on one row. I can then save this and it refreshes it and there we go, it's done. I never have to look at that thing ever again inside Firefox anyway. <laughs> so, the next thing, my YouTube channel. Whoops. And I have my subscriber count here and my channel view count. Now, for some reason I don't fancy it being there. So I'm going to put it up the top because that's where all my statistics are. I've got my little uh, message count here. So what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to press F10. If I can find the key, there we go, F10. And again, everything becomes clickable. So I'm going to take this subscriber thing, I'm going to click it. This time I'm going to select Cut click OK. It's gone there. Now I'm going to put it after this little area here. So I'm just going to click this, paste, paste after. Click OK. There we go. My subscriber count is now up the top and it's gone from this area. I'm going to do the same with channel views. I'm going to click, I'm going to go cut. OK. Being, uh, bear in mind that everything is being recorded here and you can actually remove anything you've done just going to the remove button or changing actions before other actions here and you can just delete the entire script here or you can cancel so uh, again I'm just going to go to the this time I'm going to go to the message count and I'm going to click and I'm going to say paste and I'm going to say paste before then click OK and there we go my channel views are now here my subscriber numbers now here so all I have to do next time I want to find out is just look up the top and not have to look around here I can remove whole sections if I want to I can just do anything I like everything is editable you can also for example if I just take this uh, picture here I can click it go to modify and actually change the width and the height and the color and the background and the font and the border loads and loads of different things you can do with this customize your web add-on so again I'd love to see what you guys are actually doing with this add-on if you are or, or if you're just starting to use it or if you want to start using it I'd love to see what you guys have done for example with YouTube to make it look much better or look how you want it to look so feel free to drop a video response I will have a look at all of them so that's about it really thanks for watching my video please comment rate subscribe if you like my video and thanks again.